All right, so this uh, tutorial <laughs> isn't for everybody in the class. It's just for those of you who are studying something research-wise that has to do with chemical engineering. So future chemical engineers, pay attention. I'm going to go, of course, to the library's website, click on the article databases tab at the top, and the database we're looking at is ACS Journals, American Chemical Society Journals. And they're an interesting group. Well, the database is interesting, particularly, um, because it has something like 130 years of coverage. Yes, over 130 years of original research. Um, and it's all, whoop, all full text. The other thing about this database, this blurb is really long, so I'm just going to sort of pull out some highlights from it. Um, the last several lines here uh, talk about which subjects are covered. So even if it's not strictly chemical engineering, if it's stuff like um, microbiology or nanoscience, organic chemistry, polymer science, physical chemistry, some variant on chemistry or chemical engineering, this is the database for you. It dates all the way back to 1879. Not 1979, which is not actually very long ago. I'm going to get sensitive about that one because that's my birth year. Anyway, so not all the way back to 1979. Well beyond that. Anyhow, so again, most interfaces for databases start out a little bit busy, but all you have to do is look for the search box, and I'm going to search for, here's my search, sustainability or sustainable engineering and sugar. For those of you who saw the last tutorial, um, you'll know that the little asterisk at the end of the word sustain truncates the word or cuts it off and tells the database to search for all words that have that beginning and whatever word ending. So sustainability, sustainable development, sustainable engineering. I don't know, there are a whole lot of variations. And sugar, I'm doing a different search this time. And it's going to search everywhere. So the whole full text of the article, title, abstract, author name, or you can restrict that. Anywhere is the best. Um, so I'm not going to get into the whole nitty gritty of this database. I just want to show you again some search tips to make your searching more efficient. So we got 2,274 results and that's a lot. So I'm going to use this left hand menu here. They call it search filters but a lot of other databases will say things like refining your search or something along those lines. Just look either in the left or right column and there's usually some sort of um, set of options for you where you can reduce the number of results. So refine equals reduce the number of results. So here we have a lot of kind of self-evident things like what content type is, books versus journal articles, publication names, and like I mentioned before, there are over 35 peer-reviewed journals from the American Chemical Society. So these are all great. And again, the number that follows each heading in these lists refers to the number of articles associated with it or book chapters or whatever. Manuscript type, another way to say document type, author names, date range. This is the really interesting part here. Now you can restrict, if you go back to the top and take a look at your search criteria, you can set a date range. But this gives you an incredibly current set of date ranges. So within the last year, six months, three months, or even last week. This is a hot topic. Seven articles and or book chapters about it just last week. So just by selecting a date range within the past year, we reduce our results well, a whole lot from 2,000 results to 298. So that's really good. You can also save this particular search here, if you're logged into the database, you don't have to do that. If you want to use this database a lot, though, why not? And then the results. Um, nothing really mysterious here. This is, of course, an article title. Whoops, an article title. These, whoop, I am terrible.
terrible at mousing over things today. These dudes are the authors in italics right here. Oh, what the heck. In italics right here, you get the journal title and publication date stuff right below it. And then there's a little excerpt, and they'll usually show you your um, keywords somewhere in the context of that excerpt usually. Then you've got lots of full text options and these are really nice. You can do just HTML full text, high resolution PDF, which is kind of a big file, or you can get a PDF with links. How cool is that? You have three full text options for many if not all of these articles. See, no a, uh, HTML full text for this one, just a couple of PDFs, but who's complaining? That's really pretty good. And that's it. That's it for this database. You guys are going to be so great at databases. Oh, the last thing I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get really loud just then. Um, this database also has news, not just research, but it's all lumped together here. So um, in the manuscript type, check it out. News, editorial, that sort of stuff is going to be here right alongside research. So there you have it.